Nearly two weeks after the quake, people are trying to put their lives back together, but nothing will ever be the same. The direct road to Wenchuan is still blocked, so rescue teams must take a detour from west to north in order to reach the area. Our reporter Han Bin took his own route to Wenchuan to see how the people there are coping. To reach Wenchuan now, you need to travel for over a whole day. Road conditions are still bad, and there is always the danger of falling rocks. And this is Wenchuan now, where some 40,000 people used to live. Many new buildings in the county government areas have not collapsed, though they are damaged. This is one reason people here have managed to survive. Most of the buildings cannot be used. People have to make do outside. Over 10 days after the quake, they are looking to support themselves again, some by selling goods. Li Chenggui and his wife Zhao Shuyu has been doing business for three days. Though things are still flat, he's confident life is getting better. The building can't be used. I have to move out and sell some small goods to make some money. Hello. Most survivors depend on food aid. Xie Fu Qiang showed me how each family on the list gets the same amount of relief materials. These materials come from the government and donations. Like everyone else, Zhao Wenguo's family got instant noodles, biscuits and orange juice. They have nowhere to cook, so the five people in his family rely on these rations. The assortment is different every day. What Zhao wants more than anything else is to go back to home and start a new life. But he's not sure how long he will stay in the tent. Wenchuan is where the county government is located. When the creek struck here, it blocks all three roads linking Wenchuan with the rest of the country. Telecommunications were also cut, isolating Wenchuan from the rest of China. Only two kilometers away from the county center, the traditional wooden brick farmers' houses lie in ruins. In Guozhu Pu village, nearly every family has lost someone. Tang Xiaojing lost his mother and a sister-in-law. He's still trying to come to terms with it. I still could not believe that my mom has passed away. Tang Xiaojing has no idea what the future holds. His biggest wish now is to rebuild his home. He knows nothing to bring back his loved ones, and life has to move on. Han Bin and Zhong Yue, CCTV, Wenchuan.